So Kanye West performed at Coachella on Sunday for a thing called Sunday Service. Um, um, uh, 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 this is probably tying into the Sunday service that they, they've been doing in Calabasas, I think, or Calabasas, um, or whatever they live in California. They've been doing it recently where every Sunday they all kind of gather around. Kanye hires loads of musicians uh, to come and play, um, loads of gospel singers, a choir, um, and they essentially come and sing. They essentially go and sing. I, I'm, I'm assuming it's, at, it's, it's the land that he was roaming around it, roaming around with uh, Charlemagne that time. Do you remember when they were walking around the hills and he was saying that oh he wants to build schools with sort of shit? I think that's the I think that's the place where they did the Sunday serve the Sunday service. I'm pretty sure it might be because I remember hearing Brendan Shaw say he jogs around those place those hills when he's um um you know when he's at home he jogs around those places and he's always kind of hearing the sound blurring out as he's jogging. Uh, so I think it tied in with that, and obviously it's a great way for Kanye West to kind of experiment, to kind of go out of his kind of artistic um, moniker, you know. Underneath Kids, he goes with Kid Cudi. He's able to, you know, uh, be in a duo, and again, kind of, you know, change the kind of music he's putting out there. And underneath Sunday Service, he's kind of, you know, he's part of a bigger uh, group conglomerate, right? He doesn't necessarily need to be the only one in the front of the camera. So it happened in Coachella. Everyone was really hyped about it. We didn't really get any details about what was going to happen, but we saw loads of images of of how they were going to set up and stuff. And it looked, it looked fucking incredible, right? In terms of the setup and everything that they do. And you know for sure, Kanye is one thing, he's talented, really, really um, second level. Um, n- another level at doing is a uh, stage design, set design, right? He's, um, those immersive worlds that he creates around his albums are just, you know, they're second to none, really. From the life of Pablo to Jesus to everything else in between, he just knows what he's doing in that regard. So that was something that wasn't going to be surprising. But seeing the pictures and seeing how it kind of unfolded in IRL was interesting because number one, we got it all filmed through like a uh, a fisheye lens camera or a peephole camera, whatever it may be called. Something, uh, the kind of same camera you would maybe see if you're using like a Super, is it Super 8 or Super 90, whatever that camera is, right? Um, the kind of one you hold in your hand, the ones that they kind of use sometimes in uh, Stranger Things, I think, right? And it kind of reminded me of old, um, it's going to be weird to say this, but it's gonna, it kind of reminded me of old cult, cult videos, like footage that you'd see, you know, from like, um, do you remember that documentary? Um... What's it called? Um, Wild Wild Country on Netflix, right? Um, it kind of reminded me of that sort of footage. So super grainy, through a peephole, done a certain way, um, in capturing that kind of event. And obviously, it kind of it kind of made sense that that happened that way because um, they then hired loads of photographers to kind of work for them or to kind of do the photography from like Jim Joe to Liam McRae, who are all using film cameras or using their phone with film apps on it. So that was kind of the immediate approach that they wanted to do. And you kind of got that feel from it. So it's kind of weird to watch considering most of the live streams on Coachella were filmed, you know, wide angle, um, very clear, super HD, amazing quality. And then you got this complete opposite where it was a little bit more um, constrained, but it also kind of forced you to pay attention. You couldn't kind of take your eyes off of it, which was maybe kind of part of the reason why they did it in the first place. But essentially it was a very, very, very interesting show. Um, All the performers were standing up on a mount, um, kind of you know like just standing still like in the same vein or same fashion that you would see maybe a Kanye West show at um, a Kanye West fashion show in that regard um a part of me was a bit nervous thinking oh man he's gonna he's gonna like he's gonna he's got these gospel singers standing on this um man-made mount I think that they made basically they kind of imported in loads of fucking mud and sand and built this amazing little hill thing he's got all these gospel singers standing there wearing heavy 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 cotton twill kind of t-shirts and shit um in the baking heat of LA sun right during Coachella I don't even want to like faint again in the same way that happened to Andrew in that New York Jesus show. So I was kind of a bit nervous about that, but obviously it didn't seem as cold. It didn't seem as hot or um, I guess maybe the clothing was um, cool enough for the um, gospel singers to wear where they didn't faint. Then they stood around for a few minutes. No, let's say a few, maybe more than 20 minutes, like not doing anything. Um, Omnibus kind of uh, sound kind of played through the organ i think or something else i don't know what was what was playing in the background and suddenly they kind of broke into some sort of hymns and it kind of went on singing the kind of churches for i don't know maybe a good 30 minutes until maybe kanye west decided to come out and inside rapping and doing his kind of sampling on the uh, on the midi keyboard so it was a it was kind of an amalgamation of um loads of gospel singing uh, there was a guy or i'm not sure if it was a guy or a girl on stage who was kind of doing a whole like gospel preaching sort of thing uh, praying and whatever and it looked quite mesmerizing to be honest so again i was quite on the fence about the whole thing but it did look quite mesmerizing throughout the whole performance to see um people gathered around coachella essentially going to church on a sunday right yeah at the end of coachella through all their debauchery through their fucking excess and all that sort of stuff they all gathered around and kind of celebrating yellow sun 
and praise the Lord or whoever they believe in. And um, TMZ has some really cool pictures, actually, that they got just put up now. I think I'm, I'm sure the Kanye's team kind of basically sent it to them. So Jim Jones, Liam Lee, Lee McRae were responsible for most of the photography. And some of the pictures do look quite incredible, to be fair, um, considering um, um, how everyone was on the fence regarding the overall performance in the first place. But these pictures do look really, really, really good. I'm going to get them up here so you guys can see. Um, it's on TMZ. I'll link in the show notes for those of you listening to the podcast. But they're really cool pictures. Um, so the first picture here we got is of Kanye West uh, crying in the arms, uh, surrounded by his friends, uh, most notably Kitty Cuddy. Kitty Cuddy. <laughs> um, this was during. Is this? Is this was? I think this might be during Jesus Walks or something, right? I forgot what it was with. Where he, he kind of broke down and started crying. Well, what else? As the song was thing, and I think Kanye's been a bit emotional lately. He's been crying a lot, isn't it? When stuff has been happening, um, maybe it's it's kind of due to the uproar and the backlash that he got from supporting Trump and stuff. But it seems if he's in a very emotional, emotional and vulnerable place nowadays. And I think his friends are kind of aware of that. Um, which probably goes back, which probably says a lot of why you don't really hear people speaking ill or bad of Kanye in public as of late. People have kind of backed off from it. So I think maybe people have realized that, no, he's actually going through a really difficult time at the moment. So he needs all the love and support that he can get. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Probably that's the case, right? Um, that's one picture. Then you've got, um, then you got here a picture of I think Kanye with his one of his daughters. I think that might be North there, um, chilling out again. Great. Um, I love how he, what he did with his hair dye. He kind of you know loads of purple hues in it, tie dye all over his head. You got Tiana Taylor dancing on top of something here with her amazing braids. It looked really. Chante looked fucking awesome. She had like a kind of what a long sleeve bikini thing on with the side of her thing showing and the trousers kind of slung low. Looked incredible. She looked awesome. She looked fucking awesome. Um, a really cool outfit, but again, when does Tian Tena not look good in clothes? Um, here's Kanye kind of kneeling as they're performing as well, just kind of meditating to himself. I really like the t-shirt, really. The the cut of the t-shirt is awesome, isn't it? It's a, it's incredibly oversized. Like the shoulders, the shoulders come down. The shoulder point, well, the shoulder seam comes down maybe past his just just above the elbow. It's incredibly long <laughs> um, shirt, but it does look really good. It fits him amazing. Um, again, a really cool, comfortable maybe shirt to wear during those kind of performances. Um, you got Chance the Rapper who fucking smoked his performance, man. He really, you could tell he was super amped to be performing essentially at church in public in front of people with Kanye West's kind of, you know, main guy. So that was fucking awesome to see. Um, Kanye West again with Mike Dean to the side. I love Kanye West's uh, cargo pants. He's been doing, he's making a lot of these, but we haven't really, they haven't released as of yet. Um, hopefully they come out soon, but those cargo pants that he makes are fucking awesome, man. Hopefully he releases more coming soon in the future, but they look really cool. Uh, doing his thing there. Um, what else you got? This is another picture of maybe Chance, I think, with a microphone in his hand, taken by Jim Jones. An awesome picture. A picture of somebody from the gospel choir with a headset on. Another picture here from the up, down, looking up. That looks fucking cool. We've got a picture here with um, two chains surrounded by people in the choir as well, hanging out. Loads of names that we'll probably mention. I think there might be two changes. A wife down the side too. Um, you've got Kid Cudi and Willow Smith. I mean, and Jaden Smith, sorry. Um, another picture here again. You've got the kid dancing, having a good time. Kid Cudi with the chains on. Got a picture of Chance the Rapper with his wife and children. Another picture of Kanye West in the tie-dye um, prints all over his um, head. A picture of 07, 07 Shake who was there. Um, just kind of absorbing it all, being in the moment and just kind of standing there stoically. That was quite cool to see. Another picture of Kid Cudi and Mike Dean. A picture of Travis Scott and um, Kylie Jenner. The family were there. Lala Anthony and Kim Kardashian there, hugging and embracing. A picture of another, the team of the gospel choir again, running down the hill, having a good time. Kanye on the keys, smiling, brimming, the choir again, singing hallelujah. DMX did a, an amazing prayer during the service too. That was incredibly powerful and very DMX-like. Um, that was cool to see. It was just a shame that he just turned up in his own clothes. He didn't care about what they were wearing. <laughs> he just turned up. He just wore his own shit. That was funny. Um, again, Kim Kardashian. I don't, I'm not sure what those sticks are that she's got on the side of her arm. Are they are they crutches? What's wrong with her legs? Can she not walk or something? I don't know. That's Kim there. I don't know what's happening there. But yeah, that's her. Uh, with North again. Let's get this. Yeah, the angles were messed up there, but anyway, continue. There's Chance the Rapper again, chilling. Kanye again on the keys. Good, good, good sight to see, right? 
I wonder if that's the, the original keyboard that you know that picture that he's got where he's on the keys. His, I don't know if his mum took it. It's a professional picture where he's like. I wonder if that's one of the original that original keyboard from that picture. I'm not sure if it is. It might be. Who knows? Another cool picture of somebody reaching out into the heavens with the sun beaming down on them. More pictures again. More pictures of the crowd and the choir on the mount. And I think that is maybe the most important, impressive picture of them all, right? In terms of set design. So essentially, you've got this amazing stage that they've set out, right? This space where um, it sort of looks, I don't know, how old do you call it? Like a little bump, right? Around. Then the mound kind of rises up so that, I guess, so that everyone can see, right? So from every angle of the crowd, you can see them performing on that hill because I guess, because there's no screens that were showing the performances, they could only really see them from afar from that hill. And then they had security lining the entire perimeter of the base of that of that hill, so that all the VIPs could only stand on the bit that they were there, and the performers at the top. So it was really fucking cool to see. Again, aerially, we didn't get many aerial views because again, it was filmed through a peephole camera. But I think these kind of pictures really kind of bring to light like how amazing this performance was and what it looked like and how kind of great it looked overall. And again, that just looks fucking incredible, doesn't it? You have to really be honest, like. This picture's from Coachella, I guess, right? They took them from above, maybe from a drone. It does look fucking cool. And I guess, I don't know, my verdict on it is kind of skewed. Um, I think I'm happy for Kanye for the show and what happened and whatever and how it made him feel. And I guess maybe it's a way for him to connect again with the higher powers and for him to maybe have some direction in his life and that sort of stuff, especially from the turmoil he's gone through or since the whole um, Make America Great Again and Trump thing. But there is a part of me that's a little bit like, I don't know, like, should I now be caring about church because I'm a Kanye fan? Like, should that be um, my prerogative? Should I um, be following Kanye down the church path? Should I now be trying to go to church, uh, becoming more spiritually aware or awakened or that sort of stuff? And I think probably not. I don't necessarily care for that sort of stuff. And I think there's a part of me that thinks it's a bit disingenuous. It's maybe coming from a place of trying to repay his reputation, which I'm sure he doesn't really care about as much as we think he does. But there is a part of me that probably thinks like, you know, his ego has to have taken a dent when he came out, jumped out and supported Trump and had the entirety of the hip hop community kind of like tell him to fuck off, right? There must have been something that really hurt his ego. Um, and I guess the only thing that he's able to do or that people want to listen to him about is when he talks about fashion and is when he performs on the stage. Anything else, no one wants to hear him talk, right? And even the fashion thing, sometimes people get a little bit annoyed with it, right? Um, even with the church clothes, people are like saying, you know, the 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 church clothes that he's selling at these Coachella performances, I think they were like, you know, $170 for a jumper or some shit that people are saying, oh, that's incredibly, you know, overpriced. And um, it kind of, you know, it's a bit funny that you'd be doing a church service and trying to sell people these kind of things. But I guess, you know, if you know what, if, you, if you're familiar with anything Kanye makes, you'll know that, you know, even the most basic of t-shirts, they're always going to cost you $60 plus, right? You'd never go into that making those kind of things, you know, any other 